A seven year old girl in Hazelwood is recovering at home tonight after being hit by a car while getting off the school bus. It comes as the community has been demanding changes for months. Our Justina Coronel learns about their plea to slow down speedy drivers. It should be a safe community and there shouldn't look like a NASCAR track. Speeding cars in this complex have put Melinda Brennan on edge. The stop signs are not working. Yield signs are not working. As the property manager of Chapuri Apartments in Hazelwood, she's noticed some red flags. When I was trying to cross the street and ended up almost getting hit by a vehicle just driving down the street, not paying attention, doing probably 30, 35 miles an hour when, you know, in a complex like this, we should be doing about 15. Brennan shares the large complex with hundreds of residents also has tons of children running around. That's why for months she's been asking the city for speed bumps in the area. No response really. And for her, things have only ramped up. Tuesday afternoon, a bus was parked here and it extended its stop sign while a little girl was hopping off, but a car didn't stop and hit the seven year old. Lucky enough, the little girl was okay, but still, you know, if there would have been speed bumps, a, he wouldn't have been going that fast to begin with. Speaking with the Hazelwood Police Chief Greg Hall, he explains the department has received several complaints of speeding cars in this community. In response, they've assigned additional officers to run radar and have installed more radar trailers. We've also learned there aren't any specific protocols on how to add speed bumps within the city. But if they did, this would require an extensive study to figure out if it's the best option. An option Brandon believes should happen to steer clear. I think they could save a life. Yesterday could have been way worse. Justina Cornell, five on your side. The Hazelwood Police Chief says if they receive requests for speed bumps, they'll work with the city streets department on what could come next. They could also consider adding more officers to the area to slow down speeding drivers.